Dell is always a good choice when you're looking for a quality and durable laptop that always justifies the price tag. This company has a huge specter of exceptional ultrabooks and gaming rigs such as the famous Alienware series, but today we are going to make an overview of the Dell XPS 15 which is a kind of a hybrid between a gaming and a business laptop. The XPS 15 is one of the best if not the best 15 inch laptop in the market and why it has a hefty price you'll hear in the following sections. From a design perspective, the XPS 15 measures 0.66 inches in height, 14.6 inches in width, 9.27 inches in length and weighs only around 4.44 pounds, which means that it is lighter than its 4.48 pound processor. Moreover, this laptop is built rock solid and has a silver colored aluminum top lid and base that is accompanied by a white touchpad which is positioned in a carbon fiber palm rest for delivering the best possible comfort for every user. The only drawback that I have for its construction is the material used because it attracts fingerprints and grease easily. But Dell has played cleverly, so they made the aluminum base and the lid very resistant to twists, so they added sturdiness which is helpful and compensates the attraction of fingerprints. Its handsome ultra sharp 4K touch display features a nearly bezel-less design and is secured with a glossy Gorilla Glass protective layer for minimizing the chances of getting scratches or to crush if you accidentally drop it. The top of the display holds a webcam that is kinda awkwardly positioned and I think that Dell could have done a better job in placing the webcam in the XPS 15. I will talk about the quality of the web camera as well as the included connectivities in the following section, so get ready. The laptop's left side houses a USB 3.0 port, an HDMI 1.4 port and a Thunderbolt 3 port which provides a quick transfer of data with up to 40GB per second, which is about 8 times more than USB 3.0. There is one more advantage of the Thunderbolt port and that is its multifunctionality such as charging your laptop and connecting to multiple devices. There is also a headphone and microphone combo jack. On the right side, there is a Kensington lock slot, one USB 3.0 port and a 3-in-1 card reader, so you have plenty of connectivities available for increasing your overall user experience. The Bluetooth 4.1 and the Killer 1535 wireless AC adapters are going to equip you with strong and reliable connections. The Wi-Fi connection will automatically detect and prioritize the network traffic over other less urgent applications, so the output will be a quick and lag-free internet. On this laptop, you can also get an optional fingerprint reader that will be placed beneath the bottom right corner of the keyboard, but you'll have to pay additionally for that. In my honest opinion, I would recommend you to do so, because you will be more secure and it's definitely very convenient. The keyboard on this laptop is spacious enough to have quick and accurate typing without missing any key, or to be more precise, it has 1.4mm of key travel and you'll have to deliver 50 grams of force which is really low and feather like. Moreover, the keyboard is backlit so your keys will be illuminated and this is really helpful if you're planning to use a laptop with the lights turned off. There is another advantage and that's the fact that you'll be more productive through your working day, while on the other side it will add a lot to your gaming ambient. The 4.1 by 3.1 inch touchpad is really a masterpiece and definitely one of the best key points of this laptop. The touchpad itself is large, really responsive and features the accidental activation prevention technology for stopping any unintentional clicks when your palm accidentally hits the touchpad. This is really cool because you can pinch, zoom and click with confidence. The only remark I have is that the touchpad attracts fingerprints as the chassis itself since it is covered with carbon fiber. I also want to mention that the touchpad is very clicky, so you'll like it if you're a fan of that, if not, then you shouldn't worry either, because you can use an external mouse of your choice. People say it's what's inside that counts, well, XPS 15 features the 7th generation of the quad-core Intel Core i7 processor with 3.8GHz processor. This processor is fast and will let you achieve better performance, such as better multitasking capabilities, a better improvement in gaming performance and help you a bit with the battery life. The 16GB of memory is the default size, but you can expand it up to 32GB if you prefer, but keep in mind that you would have to buy additionally for that. Either way, the 16GB DDR4 is more than sufficient for handling video editing applications, keeping plenty of tabs open and for playing games. Another big advantage of this laptop is the Nvidia GTX 1050 graphics card which is capable to deliver a smooth performance when playing games and for intensive tasks like video or photo editing while helping the 4K display to achieve better results. 
Now, let's talk about the performance. The XPS 15 display has a maximum resolution of 3840 by 2160 and supports 6 million pixels more than the Full HD or 3 million more than the MacBook Pro, which is really impressive. And yes, you can tap, swipe and pinch on the display, so you will love it from the very first moment you see it. But that's not all, the display will provide you with a wide viewing angle of up to 170 degrees that will be accompanied by consistent colors for increasing your viewing experience as much as possible. The audio quality is really good, so you can hear clearly defined vocals thanks to Stereo Max audio speakers. The 720p webcam is good, but not the best, as I think that Dell could implement a better one, but anyway, it will serve you very good during your video call sessions and I don't think that you need a full HD camera for that. The battery life is expected to last up to 19.5 hours according to Dell, if you're working with Word, Excel or similar low demand applications. If you are working with uh, heavier applications such as streaming or watching movies, then it will last for around 11 to 12 hours. But this may vary, so if you're playing video games or working with more demanding applications, that, then it will surely drain faster. To summarize, if you're not tight on a budget, then you should definitely take this laptop into consideration because you will highly benefit from having it. So, if you combine this beautiful and powerful display with the included hardware, regardless if you're working, watching movies or gaming, the delivered output is indeed mouthwatering and I definitely recommend this to everyone. Thank you for watching guys, hope you liked this video. If you wanna find out the price and more information about this laptop, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. And if you have any questions related to them, you can leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.